Hello everyone, we are going to solve two problems today of uh, logarithmic equations, logarithmic and exponential equations as uh, an example for the class. So the first problem is problem number 16. So I have solved each exponential equation, so I have 7 to the x minus 2 over 6 equals to the square root of 7. Remember that in class um, we mentioned that we need the basis to be the same, we need the form b to the m equals to b to the n so we can apply m equals to n so we need the basis to be the same the problem here is the basis kind of not the same because this is 7 to the x minus 2 and this is a square root of 7 but we can do a manipulation of the square root of 7 remember that when we have the square root of 7 is the same as a uh, exponent in form of a fraction so this is 7 this is the square root that means the index is 2 so the denominator is 2 and the exponent is 1 so it's 7 to the 1 half so I can do that manipulation first so I have 7 x minus 2 over 6 equals to 7 to the 1 half now my basis are the same so I can apply this property where the bases are the same so the exponent we equal each other so m equals to n so I'm going to have x minus 2 over 6 is equals to 1 half now what we are going to do is solve for x so I have a denominator 6 so I can multiply both sides by 6 so these two goes away so I have x minus 2 equals to 6 over 2. I'm doing it step by step so you can see um, all the steps. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I have x minus 2 equals to th 3. Then 2 is, is um, subtracting. So I'm going to add both sides by 2. So this 2 goes away. And 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. So that's the solution for the first problem, problem number 16. So I have my solution is 5. Now problem, uh, the next problem is problem number 22. It's an, uh, another exponential um, problem. e to the x plus 4 equals to 1 over e to the uh, 2x. So remember we are still trying to apply the property where it says b to the m equals to b to the n. And in this case, I have m equals to n, if we get the basis the same. So what I'm going to do is a little manipulation here. I have e to the negative 2x, uh, positive, this is positive. I'm already going ahead. So what I'm going to do is send this e to the 2x to the numerator, and I'm going to explain the property. So I have e to the negative 2x. Remember when we had that property of exponents that says, when you have a to the negative m is equals to 1 over a to the m is exactly the same. We are just reversing that formula. So I have the expression a to the m, e to the 2x, then we send it to the numerator and is a to the negative m. So the exponent is going to be negative. So I'm going to rewrite this one as e x plus 4 equals to e uh, negative 2x the bases are the same so I just equal the exponents x plus 4 is equals to negative 2x is up to you what you want to do um, in this case to avoid confusion with some students that are just starting this process I'm going to get rid of this x minus x so these two goes away negative 2x minus x is equals to negative 3x then we divide by negative 3 negative 3 so this two goes away so I have that x is equals to negative 4 over 3 or negative 4 over 3 and that will be my solution to the problem so the question that is um, assigned. Okay, another way to do this one, because I said this to avoid confusion, when you have x plus 4 equals to negative 2x, 
my first thing to do is to send the x to the right side. So if I do this one, plus 2x, plus 2x, this two goes away. So I have 3x plus 4 equals 2. And here's where the confusion starts. Some students don't know what to write here. This one is 0. There is nothing on the right side. So what I'm going to do now is subtract 4 minus 4. This two goes away. 3x equals to negative 4. Then we divide by 3. And we get exactly the same solution for thirds. So this is the solution. Any question, any comments, you can put it in the uh, comment section. Uh, if you have a specific problem, you can also um, let me know. So have a wonderful day.